Hi everyone, in today's video, we're going to have a look at two actions that we can make with numbers, and they are petitioning or petition, rearrange and regroup. And these, these three actions are really important for making calculations and using our knowledge of place value. So you have to use your knowledge of place value when doing these three things. So I'm gonna go through them first and give a bit of a definition. So first one is to partition. So that's when we split a number into its place value parts. The next one is rearrange, when you rearrange numbers to assist a calculation. And lastly, regroup, when you use an algorithm to calculate. So we're gonna have a look at the four, uh, three, sorry, different, I guess, actions that you can, you can make. And you'll sort of see how these three things are really useful. So the first one is to partition. So I'm just gonna write partition here. So what partition is, is it's about breaking the number into its place value parts. So I'm gonna give you, give a random number in its thousands. Uh, I might change that to a six. So we've got 4,369. So when we partition a number, what we're thinking about are <clears throat> what place value parts is the number in. So we know that, and I always like to draw this little table to help, we know that each number's got its own place value. So depending on where the number falls, gives it a value. So this is the ones, 0 for 1, tens, T for tens, the hundreds, H for hundreds, and TH for the thousands. So when we partition a number, what we're thinking about is breaking it into its place value parts. So for this one, we've got 4,000, which was written like that, plus 300, written like that, plus six tens, which is written like this, plus nine ones, which makes up our number of 4,369. So when I write the number out like this, I'm partitioning it and showing you it in expanded form, which is when I really stretch the number out. Okay, so that's partitioning. It's really useful to know what parts, what place value parts there are in the number. So that's partitioning. The next one is rearrange. So when we rearrange a number, <clears throat> we're sort of changing the order that the numbers may be added or subtracted so that we can calculate things a little bit more easily. So here's an example. Let's say I had eight plus nine plus two. So I could attempt to add eight and nine. We always work from left to right. But what I could do to make things a little bit easier for myself, I can rearrange the numbers in a way so that the calculation becomes easier. So, for example, 8 and 2, I know that those two numbers are tens friends. So, 8 plus 2 makes our 10, okay? And then what I can do is add the 9 on the end. Because when we add um, to a 10, a single digit to a 10, we just get rid of that 0 in our answer and make it 19, okay? So, that's rearranging. And so, it's important to know with this strategy i've used single digit numbers as an example but it actually can be used really effectively with larger numbers as well you know numbers in the hundreds or thousands you know numbers that have zeros at the end uh, really easily rearranged to make calculations easier and this is stuff that i'm running it down this is stuff that you probably would do in your head as you get really proficient now the last one is to regroup so when we regroup, we're actually using a specific algorithm or strategy to solve the question. So I'm going to come up with one here. Let's say 421 plus 235. And so what we're doing is we're using an algorithm that you, you uses place value to help us solve it. So this is an addition question. So one that springs to mind would be vertical addition. 
Okay, and that's when we do this. Now, sometimes vertical addition, it's quite hard to do in your head. Okay, I can do this when I write it down. One, five is six, two and three is five, four and two is six. All right, 656. But what I might do in my head is I might add the hundreds. All right, 400 plus 200 equals 600. I might add the tens then. 20 plus 30 equals 50. Now you might be starting to recognize this strategy. It's called the split strategy. All right, and then I add them at the end. 600 plus, six, plus the 50 is 650 plus the other six. 656. So regrouping is about change, uh, sorry, focusing on the place value of the numbers like I did here to help me solve and calculate the answer a little bit easier. So these three actions, they're designed to make your calculations easier and they're really useful and the more you practice them, the more proficient, which means the quicker you'll get at it. Thanks guys. Hope you enjoyed the video.